What's up ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital here and today I am wearing this hat proudly because just before I started filming this video, I bought myself an A7 III, a Sony A7 III. Super excited, but that's not what you're here for. Welcome to day number 27 of 31 days of tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to save and export preset and I'm gonna do it in 30 seconds or less, but first, why would you wanna save an export preset? Well, if you tend to use the same export settings on multiple different occasions, it's usually best just to save those as a preset. So all you have to do is grab them from a dropdown, hit render, and you're all set. And saving a preset in Premiere only takes a couple clicks, and we're gonna do it right now. Ooh. All right, here we are in Premiere. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm bringing up the export dialog with Control M. I want this to be a super high quality render, so I'm gonna pick the QuickTime format and I'm gonna select render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, and then I'm just gonna click this icon here. I'm gonna call it Super HQ. I don't need to do anything to the effect and publish settings uh, options here because I didn't make any changes there. Hit OK, and boom, done. And just to prove that the preset was saved, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go back into the export dialog here. I'm gonna make sure that the QuickTime format is selected. And when I click this drop down here, you will see Super HQ right there. Click that. You'll see that the render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality options are selected, which means that those presets were saved and we are all set. And we can now save ourselves a few clicks every time we go to export new super high quality video projects. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit like on this video, share it with a friend. If you feel so inclined, come back and see us again tomorrow for day 28 of 31 days of tutorials. And I'll just be waiting here for my camera to arrive in a few days from Amazon. So I'll be here if you need me. I'll see you later.